Hello and welcome. This is going to be a reading for May 1st through May 15th, 2020. Welcome back subscribers. Welcome to those of you who are new. I so appreciate your guys' likes, subscribes, and comments. I just, it amazes me how active you guys are on the channel and how much it's grown. So just thank you from the bottom of my heart for being here. Um, for those of you who don't know, I am a master energy therapist and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live. I have clients all around the globe at this point, which is really amazing. Um, the link is below with all the information on the distance energy healing and therapy that I do. Um, you can read about the benefits, definitely check out the testimonials, and you'll see as well I have a 15% discount for first-time energy clients. So you can absolutely take advantage of the 15% off um, your first session with me. So you'll see that link below. And... Uh, yeah, like I said, all the info is there. We're going to get straight into the readings. We're building to the full moon in Scorpio, which will be on May 7th. So that's it. We'll get into the readings. Hello, Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and Jupiter. Again, this is for May 1st through May 15th, 2020. Already fully shuffled, so I'm just going to get straight into it for you guys. I don't think I've ever seen cards fall out this way before. Okay, first up we've got Knight of Cups, Temperance in the middle with the Queen of Cups. But what I find so beautiful about this is the Knight and the Queen of Cups are facing the Temperance card. So I feel like, Cancer, this is you and somebody that you are romantically involved with or somebody that you've been dating. Um... And the two of you are having a heart to heart, so to say, like you're really connecting and coming together as one. So I feel like the relationship could be coming to a commitment, the next level, um, you guys expressing that, you know, the care that you have for one another. You could be dealing with another water sign, but I'm really feeling that this is more of like the heart energy and the emotions that you're both generously kind of giving to this relationship. And the temperance card does bring balance. It brings healing. It brings harmony and peace. So with the queen and the knight, I feel if the two of you, you know, if one is a little more invested than the other, I think that's okay. Um, I think you're both wanting to move in the same direction. Okay, so you're headed in the same direction, even if one of you is at night level and one of you is at queen level. So I feel like that's not really going to be an issue. Because I, I just, I'm feeling complete honesty here in this connection. You two just feel very connected. Okay, let me see what else I've got for you here. Okay, so having this heart connection that the two of you have, I mean, I almost would say this is like a soulmate connection with the way the cards are laid out, but there is a little bit of, okay, I'll just show you. I've got queen of, of wands, two of swords, and the hanged man energy here. So I feel you're very connected with this person. Um, with the Queen of Wands, that's really a card of receiving and more about feminine energy. So I feel the two of you may need to really balance out. If you are so in sync with the heart, you may need to figure out the masculine and feminine roles within the relationship, right? Like who, who takes on what? And we all have masculine and feminine energies within us. Um, so you just want to have balance there. But this Two of Swords is throwing me a little bit because the Two of Swords is like not having all the information in order to make a decision. So maybe that's it. This heart connection feels so pure. It feels like in so much harmony. 
but maybe there's more to this person and to this relationship than you guys have gotten to yet. Because the two of swords can really represent, it's like it's too soon to make a decision about something because you don't have all the information. So maybe that's why there's this little bit of like a time out or I don't like to use the, um, the word stagnant energy, but the hangman is kind of like, you know, your hands are tied. Maybe you feel really connected to this person and you're, you're not sure how to navigate the relationship yet or something like that because you don't know everything that you need to know about this connection, which I don't necessarily think that's a bad thing. It may just need a little bit more time. Okay, I also just heard reconciliation. So um, this can be a reconciliation with the temperance. That's what the temperance is creating, is a place for the two of you to come together and reconcile. And that's what's really going to give you all the information needed of whether or not this relationship does have all the pieces that you want. Yes, it's like you're going to be making a decision of whether or not you want to take a leap of faith and take action towards this relationship and this person. I almost feel like you both are going to be in this position, but the Fool card really like lets go of the past, lets go of any baggage. Like it's a card of fate and trust and just going with the flow. And the Three of Swords or Three of Wands is really action. It's like wanting to take action to make things work. And ending with the High Priestess, I mean, this is the higher knowing. This is, you know, the balance of the masculine and feminine energy that I was talking about. The balance of light and dark within each of us. And really trusting yourself. I mean, Cancer, you're highly intuitive as it is. There's a lot of cups out here. <clears throat> so I feel like as you navigate through this connection with this person... Don't feel like you need to make a decision. Yes, this person is the one. Or no, this person is not right for me. You just kind of need to move through it in a healthy way. Because I do feel like it's going to reach a place of balance. But it's going to be like really, really loving at first. Just like crazy emotions, the most beautiful heart connection. And then after that, I feel like you're going to go through some different layers of figuring out what this connection actually is. So again, I don't think that's a bad thing. I think it's just going to be a matter of the two of you working together. Make sure your communication stays open because two of swords can bring a little bit of challenge within communication. So you don't want to like close up the heart and get fearful at all. I don't really think you or this person is going to do that though because we've got the fool card energy. Which is really, I mean, look at how open the arms are here, open the chest is and the heart. It's really leading with the heart and trusting. So, interesting reading, Cancer. I really liked this for you. I just, it's such a beautiful layout. The Knight, Temperance, and Queen of Cups there. <laughs> I've never seen that ever. So, it's something significant for you. Last messages for cancer. Oh, okay. Well, we have three that popped out here. Wow. Okay, so we've got forgiveness, truth, and integrity, and soulmate. So the forgiveness really could be that fool card and three of wands energy, like letting go of the past, letting go of holding back. And the truth and integrity can be the two of swords, which is really getting, you know, honest with yourself of what you want, what you need, and not staying blindfolded and not, you know, rushing to decisions, but more so working through it within yourself and then working through it within your partner. And with all of that, you've got the soulmate connection, which I had really felt with this temperance card and the queen and knight of cups connecting so definitely soulmate energy here. And soulmate connections help us to grow. They really do help us to learn and grow. So I think that's a positive thing. 
Okay, so I hope that resonates with you, Cancer. If not, no worries. You can watch your moon sign, your rising sign, your Venus, or your Jupiter. Um, thank you for the comments below the video. I really do love reading all your comments, so thank you for that. And if you missed the intro, I am a master energy therapist, and I specialize in distance energy healing and therapy. So it doesn't matter where you live or how far apart we are. I have clients all around the world at this point. This is my full-time work. So uh, the link is below with all the information on my website. Definitely read the benefits. You can read about my story and, you know, my journey and getting here. Check out the testimonials and you'll also see a 15% discount for first time energy clients or your very first energy session with me. So you can absolutely take advantage of that. I hope that is helpful for you in some way. Um, and yeah, I think that's it, Cancer. So I'm wishing you a wonderful start to May and I'll see you back here for the second half of the month readings. Take care.